Today we're driving on Crano Road, also known as County Road 60, in Bankhead National Forest. This is an interesting area. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. And uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to stop. But uh, it was just too pretty to not shoot some uh, video of driving through here. Now this road, uh, it crosses the, we'll be crossing a bridge in a little bit, and that's the uh, Sipsi River. It's actually not, the Sipsi River is not the correct name, it's what everybody calls it, but uh, there is a Sipsi River in uh, this part of Alabama, not, not very many miles from here, and this is not it. <laughs> this is uh, actually... Sipsy branch of the Warrior River or Black Warrior River, I, I forget which, but anyway, it's Sipsy branch. But uh, there are several canyons in the area, and the roads kind of uh, come pretty close to some of the canyons, but for the most part, you can't really see them. It doesn't; they don't come close enough to uh, to see the canyons as a general rule. But uh, there will be, you know, a little bit of wooded area between the road and the canyon. Also on this road is Wolfpen Campground. And calling that a campground is a uh, very loose use of the term. Which is okay. That doesn't mean I don't like it. In fact, uh, I guess it's my favorite campground in the forest. It's just a... Uh, loop road it's not paved not even graveled just a maybe a quarter mile or something that just goes in and makes a loop and there are a few little cleared areas and nothing else there are a couple of other uh, it's called this is a hunter's campground there are a couple of other hunter hunter campgrounds on uh, the main road through the forest which this is not by the way and uh, those are a little bit more developed, just slightly, in that they have uh, have pit latrines, enclosed pit la latrines. The Wolfpen Campground has nothing. It doesn't have pit latrines or anything. It's just uh, straight up wilderness camping. And uh, like I said, it's the only one I've camped in in the forest. And uh, and I like it. It's in a good location. But let me read to you what the uh, U.S. Forest Service says about camping. It says, Corinth and Clear Creek campgrounds are located in Bankhead National Forest. Campgrounds are open April through October and offer camping units with electrical and water hookups. I'm not even sure where those are. I've never been to them that I can recall. I've certainly never camped in them. Not saying I want at some point, but at this point I haven't. But this is primitive camping during hunting season. Now these are the ones that I am oh, kind of familiar with, and Wolfpen Camp falls under this heading. It says, Camping is allowed during hunting season in the Bankhead National Forest. However, hunters must camp in designated hunters' camps and do not require camping permits. Non-hunters may camp in the general forest and wilderness, but must obtain a permit from the Bankhead Ranger District Office. Primitive camping permits are required from November 15 to January 31 annually. And uh, the only time I've camped here was during hunting season. It wasn't uh, during gun deer season. I think it was during bow deer season, but uh, I was hunting for squirrels and wild hogs. Mainly wild hogs, but uh, officially I was hunting for squirrels because that's kind of the way wild hog hunting works here. But uh, by doing that, you know, I didn't have to get a, a camping permit. But that's not the only reason I did that, of course. But uh, anyway, continuing on, 
It says, no, users of Hurricane Creek shooting range should bring their own paper targets. Okay, that reminds me. There is a shooting range, and I have, uh, I've been to that a few times. And there are, let's see, recreational areas. It says there are six recreation areas scattered about the Bankhead National Forest, each offering a unique experience of its own. Facilities for camping, picnicking, fishing, hiking, and swimming are abundant. All facilities are designed with forest users in mind and provide varying challenges for everyone from the novice to the expert. And so on, so on. Hiking. Bankhead National Forest offers over 90 miles of recreational trails. You can enjoy hiking, bicycle, and horseback riding, and a trail for your all-terrain vehicle. Now, I've seen the ATV trails. I haven't uh, actually ridden on them, but... Uh, I might at some point uh, get some of my friends to come with me and uh, and go over there and ride some trails. It'll be a lot of fun. But uh, when reading about these uh, these things that the forest offers, keep in mind that this is not a highly developed area. It's uh, it truly is wilderness. So you know, don't expect. Uh, don't expect a lot of development. If you're into true wilderness, like for example, it said swimming. Well, you know, it's talking about deep pools in the rivers, deep in the wilderness, and you know, so don't expect to see lifeguards or anything like that. By the way, this is one of the few paved roads in the forest. Most of the most of the roads through the forest are gravel and they wind around because of the canyons that I mentioned earlier. You know, they can't go straight, so they kind of wind around for miles and miles, man. And uh, great for exploring in a Jeep or on a dual sport motorcycle or whatever. So, thanks for riding along with me today.